In today's news, former Ripple advisor and current vice chair for supervision at the Federal Reserve Michael Barr drops a nuke. An XRP is the chosen one by the 1% and the elites of the world. As we can see from Flip the Chain here, XRP is trending over number two crypto asset Ethereum on Google Trends. This data covers all countries for the past seven days. Red represents XRP and blue represents Ethereum. And as we can see, XRP has a much higher interest than Ethereum. Now, this is very big news and is destined to grow more in the future. As we can see from Crypto Barbie here, Ethereum Insider drops bombshell that ETH Founders fraud is bigger than FTX fraud. This is huge news. This could be the reason why 99% of crypto will die out of regulation. So for a little bit of context, as we can see here, the insider is an attorney and former advisor for Ethereum called Stephen Arayoff, who recently published a shocking piece of information about Ethereum that you're not going to want to miss. Now, Stephen Arayoff has personal knowledge of Ethereum, having worked for the blockchain network previously and has come forward with explosive allegations regarding the actions of Ethereum founders Vitalik Buterin and Joseph Lubin, stating, and I quote, Ethereum is a fraudulent elephant in the room in plain sight a thousand times bigger than Sam Bankman fried If and when the story gets out, this could result in a massive pump for XRP. As XRP is the only asset of regulatory clarity and therefore could take Ethereum's spot. Not to mention that XRP continues to prove himself as the chosen one, as we can see here. DLT and blockchain, a paper by the World Bank Group, raises many concerns about Bitcoin's energy consumption, stating and proof of work. If Bitcoin's network were to scale to the levels of Visa or MasterCard, it would exceed current global electricity consumption. Of course, XRP is presented as an alternative and an example for DLT, which we can see right here. And this would therefore explain as to why at the recent DC FinTech week, the only crypto company that was in attendance was Ripple CEO Brad Garninghouse, showcasing that the elites and 1% of the world believe in XRP. And it helps when you have the former Ripple advisor, Michael Barr, in such a powerful position as vice chair for supervision at the Federal Reserve. And at the DC FinTech conference, he drops a bombshell nuke about how deeply connected the Federal Reserve is in the technological space. We use lots of techniques to, to keep up with what's going on in the technology space. We do a lot of outreach. Uh, so we spend a lot of time just talking to people um, across the financial services landscape and in the business community to, to get access to what's going on in new technology. Of course, we talk to our supervised firms. Um, our banks are engaged in uh, using technology to provide financial services uh, to their customers. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll speak. Good day and good night.